My goodness, y'all, what you're about to see, I just saw it. It's a few years old. I'm late to the party. I'll admit it. But I had to put this in front of you guys just in case you hadn't witnessed this level of piece of work that this woman is and then some. I don't even think she's from planet Earth because she was asked a simple question. And as usual, these liberals dance all around. She was asked, do you support babies being able to be murdered, aborted? after they're outside the womb. Now, a lot of us already stand up for the pro-life movement. We're pro-life. We don't think that the woman's choice ever is able to kill a baby. It's not just her body. It's a baby's life. It's a whole new set of genetic DNA that God blessed into the womb. But this is taking it even a step further into the extreme evils right here. This, I think he was the governor of Virginia at the time of this video. He wanted to pass a law that allowed for the killing of babies after they were born. And in fact, babies across the board, you can't even even label that a zygote or a fetus or anything other than what it actually is so y'all take a look at this and then you'll realize why there's a pro-life movement and why we have to keep advocating for these innocent defenseless children monica thanks all for coming on yeah i'm i'm sure you describe yourself as pro-choice i bet a lot of people watching right now think of themselves as pro-choice um so i'm not attacking you for that but I, I wonder what you think of what dr northam the governor of virginia just said that when a child, he described the child as an infant, um, is born, there's a point where the mother and the physician can decide whether to kill the infant or not. What do you think of that? Look, Tucker, I understand that you want to go back to a time where uh, Roe v. Wade was illegal, where women were having don't, back don't alley abortions, just, and on, they were uh, using so, coat look, hangers look, to have abortions, right, which is right, actually right, what's look, barbaric. I, I'm giving you time to make, a real, to make a real argument. I'm not arguing for the repeal of Roe v. Wade. I'm a very straightforward person. That is person. what you're I'm, essentially I, I, actually, saying. Actually, no, that's not what I'm arguing. And please don't be tiresome. The governor of Virginia, who is a rising star in the Democratic Party just said this. There's pending legislation that mirrors it. And I'm asking you what you think of it. That's it. I'm not here to debate I Roe I think v. that Wade. right now, reproductive health care is under attack by the Republican Party. 72% of Americans support the right to choose. And yet we have Trump and we have sexual predator Kavanaugh okay. trying to repeal Roe v. Wade and trying to take away our control okay. over our own bodies. This isn't okay. about babies. This isn't about health care. This is about you attempting to control women's bodies. Okay. I want somebody to just ask these people, what do your parents think about your views? What do your parents think about the fact that you're out here protesting that it's a woman's right, human rights, to kill a child, to murder a baby, but your parent didn't murder you? Willingly killing a newborn baby, whether that's in the womb or out of the womb, is murder. There's nothing else you can call it. it that just is what it is. It's pure evil showing itself. Okay, please don't be a robot. Monica, you're smarter than that. This is the please. governor of Virginia just saying this. I just want to know what you think of it. Is that okay? Does that bother you? It's a sincere question. It this just me. happened. Okay, it bothers me that you are attempting to control women's bodies. No, that's what you're doing. Control you women's are. Bodies. The Republican you have Party the right now Look, is working if you overtime think, to repeal okay. Roe v. Wade and to take away choice in every I single state. I wonder if you think you're convincing anybody or if your unwillingness to address what just happened today on tape that we just played is a sign that you can't defend this. And if you can't defend it, I wonder why that is. Have you paused to ask yourself as an American, as a person, what do I, I, mean, as a woman, you what do I think your, of that? As a woman, what do I think of it? Have you yeah. asked yourself why you spend so much time talking about this rather than thinking about why your party is trying to repeal Roe v. Wade and control women's bodies? Okay. Okay. Right now, there are okay. seven okay. states where there is only one abortion clinic, okay? okay? There are four let, states let with trigger you. bans where we would... If Roe okay. v. Wade is repealed, women cannot get reproductive health care. This is about a woman's okay. right to choose, and you as a man should not have a single say in that. Wow. Do you think that you're making a case that most people agree with, that it's okay to abort a child in the third trimester Tucker, for you no... you keep trying to put words no, it's, in my mouth and keep trying to you... say that the Democratic Party is yeah. hurting children. I, I have but to your say, party is the one that is tearing families well, apart at the border and allowing children to party. die in federal custody. So whose party is actually harming children? Wow. I just Let me just ask you one quick question. I mean, this is obviously ahead, a pointless Tucker. conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think less of you uh, after, I, I have to say. I already think but less it's, of you, so don't It's an worry. honest question. Mm. Have you thought about it? Do you have a real answer to what the governor of Virginia said, or are you going to throw yet another talking point at me? I mean, have you actually thought about it? Will you answer that question at all? I have thought about it, and I am telling what you, you think? that your party is attempting to change right. the conversation about Roe v. Wade okay. and take control of okay. women's bodies. I'm sorry that okay. as a man, what you're focused on is controlling women's bodies, but we will not allow you to do that. This is a child who's been born 
this is not a woman's body. This is an it independent just person. It confuses me why you the, pretend that you have concerns over children when you're completely fine with ICE right. tearing families apart and children dying in federal right. custody. Monica, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I don't know about y'all, but listening to that woman was flat out painful. Tucker labeled it as tiresome. I would agree with that for, for one, but do y'all ever just sit back and listen to these interviews and ponder on the fact that these activists, one, they're always the loudest in the room, and then when you ask them a real question, they have no substance. They usually have no answer. They just stare at each other blankly like, uh, wait, what did he just say? He just called me out. I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't have a backbone in it. I didn't have a foundation. I have no logical facts as to why I'm even standing up here. I don't know. I'm just you know regurgitating what I've been told, these talking points, and these people literally avoid and dance around and fleet away from the question repeatedly over and over for these entire conversations. Like, <laughs> do you ever just think about that for a second and think how ridiculous it is that these people have the nerve to go on live TV and embarrass their parents and family and friends like this? <laughs> Thank God for people like Tucker Carlson. Although I wish he would press these people a lot harder on these issues, they make the point for us most of the time. And all we need to do is sit back, relax, and hey, just wait for these liberals to be liberals. That's how they roll. Everything else will take care of itself. I know God's always going to work it out for the greater good, but it's entertaining. It's evil, but it's entertaining to watch these people unfold and just lash out, bash, belittle, go crazy. Because at the end of the day, they're going to get theirs. Judgment day is coming, and I don't want to be on the side that they're on. I promise you that. You need some Jesus in your life. You need some truth. You need the recognition that a life is a life, and God put it there for a reason, not for you to take it out. You don't have that right. Just like a parent doesn't have the right to kill a child when they're one, two, three, all the way up to 30, 40, 50 saying that they're not viable when they're in the womb, but you're, you're viable. You depend on people all your life, your parents, your uh, employer, your where, wherever you go to college, if you go to college, whatever it may be, you're always dependent on other people. And nobody, including myself, has the right to just up and kill you because they want to, because it doesn't fit my, you know, the, the plans that I had in place. You can determine your plans, but God determines your steps at the end of every single day. You can say that you want to live life a certain way, but by no means in any circumstance along that path, along your trajectory of life from birth until death, do you have the right to take another life? Never. What is going on with people? Like, why can't we just get an ounce of common sense, an ounce of morals, an ounce of just compassion for other life? People are all sorts of compassionate when there's a miscarriage, but oh, that just goes out the window and it's labeled a zygote, a fetus, a whatever made up name they want to list it as other than a human being when it's a choice to kill, when it's, you know, coming down to convenience, then, oh, it's, it's all on the woman. No, no, it's not. That didn't get there by yourself. You, you ain't Mary. You, Jesus didn't just pop up in your womb. You don't got Jesus first and foremost. There's only one savior, but a man helped to make that baby possible. So it's just as, as much of a man's child as it is your child. And no human being has the right to murder. Make it make sense, y'all. It, it'll never add up to me. I'll never get on board with it. I will always stand up and fight with my voice physically. However, we got to, we got to stand up for these babies because there's millions upon millions of children that have been killed since Roe v. Wade first was made legal. Thank God it's been overturned since this video. And we, we got a whole lot of more work to do. Abortion across the board never should be allowed. I don't care what emotional tactic you guys try to use. We got to keep fighting. We got to keep praying for these people, for the innocent life of children to start being valued. And this has to be combated at every single turn. I think I've ranted long enough, though. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Pray for this woman, y'all. She's nuts at the time of this video. And I pray that she has since turned from her wicked ways and maybe had her own child, maybe started to value the blessing and precious gift of life that God granted us and, and found some gratitude and, and looked in the mirror and said, you know what? How could I ever stand up for this? How could I ever stand up for such evil as a, a baby that's actually walking on the earth that you can hear its cry, you can feel its touch, you can see it's smiling. And how can you ever stand for that child being able to be aborted? Where does that stop? You could just go kill seven-year-olds, 14-year-olds, 21-year-olds. Like when a life is on earth, it's, it's on earth in, in the womb. That's one thing, how, how wrong that is killing that baby. But literally when you can see the child out here in the flesh and standing up for that being okay to take the life, man, I, I pray for the evil of this world to be turned from because God always gives us a righteous path that we can go down free will or we can pursue that evil which is always going to lead to eternal damnation lake of fire and it's deserved because you had all the time in the world to make the right decision from birth till death and if you didn't if you didn't confess Christ as Lord and Savior and find that salvation 
yo, I, I can't feel any sympathy for you. Not whatsoever. But again, pray for these people, pray for this world. And if you got any value from this video, if you like my stance on it, what Tucker had to say, even though I wish he, again, he would have pressed her a lot harder, but either way, I, I'll, I'll say what I got to say in my videos and go from there. But hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, ring the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. If you wanna take it a step further, you like what we're doing over here, you can support by getting awesome designs like this made by my beautiful wife over in her Etsy store. She's got a bunch of Christian, American designs, petite, teat, small sizes for to up to big, big and hefty 5X for you people that like to enjoy some food and like to you know dive into the buffet action. But I again, I digress tumblers insulated as well over there a bunch of different designs y'all go check that out in the description section shout out to my buy me a coffee and patreon fam i love y'all you support me day in and day out monetarily allow me to take care of my family and i'm just so grateful to have y'all those links are down below and you'll see them on screen as well y'all have my utmost love and support and i wish i could hug every single one of you whether you donate or not i'm still gonna show up i'm still gonna stand firm on god's word and, and show the truth at every chance i get i'm gonna continue to be salt and light and stand up against this evil evil, wicked, disgusting sin that we see pervasing our earth at, at, at all walks of life, from the media to everywhere. But again, I get passionate about this. I'll go on all day, but I know y'all got things to do. I love y'all. I'll be praying for you. Until next time, Godspeed. I'm gone.